hi guys hello hello welcome back today i'll be showing you how to make seven ingredient one bowl peanut butter coconut cookies <laughs> as per my hand gestures and i hope that you're interested so that you can keep watching so first of all we're going to be using one cup of cake wheat flour just ordinary flour will work if you're gluten free then obviously opt for the gluten one um, or any allergies that you're trying to keep in mind then please do that don't follow me if you're gonna die please and thank you very much and to that one cup also adding in half a cup of desiccated coconut and we're also going to be adding in some bicarbonate of soda or also known as baking soda so we're adding in a teaspoon of that actually um, and then we're gonna give that a wonderful a lovely mix before we move on to our wet ingredients and our wet ingredients are one cup of peanut butter an eighth cup of almond milk a quarter cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla essence and just to make a note as well if you're using generic peanut butter like i am then that will greatly impact the recipe in that you don't have to add as much sugar unless you know you, you want to go to the hospital every two minutes you know then add as much sugar as you want otherwise i would advise adding in about a quarter cup to half a cup of sugar depending on your sweetness level but that should be enough and then you're going to melt that in the microwave for about 30 seconds then we're going to give the flour a mix before adding in our wet ingredients which would have then cooled down enough for us to add them in and after some time and it's nice and crumbly we're then going to take it back to the olden days man and use our hands to form a ball instead once the ball is formed, we're going to refrigerate the batter for about 30 minutes at least so that it can create a lovely texture that's nice and crispy. And then I find this much easier when you try and measure out. You know, I used to like to defy the odds, like to be the rebel, not use measuring spoons, not use measures at all. But I now see the joy in actually measuring your stuff out because then you get exactly the same amount that you were anticipating in the first place. So here I used my tablespoon measuring spoon to measure out tablespoon worth of balls so that they're all equal size and this made me exactly 24 cookies of that size which is wonderful and the cookies are so cute and dainty like how peanut butter cookies usually are and then shape them into our wonderful cookies and blessings on this earth that are also known as peanut butter cookies and then i shaped them with a fork so in order to make these um shape sorry these lines on the cookies it's easier if you dip the fork in some sugar just so that it doesn't stick and doesn't make it hard for you to do this otherwise um my last thing that i did was to add some raw peanuts just for decorative effects this is completely optional and it's not really part of the process i just thought it would look nicer i'm actually using raw peanuts but don't worry they're gonna cook in the oven so it's like fine it's completely fine swiftly moving along i also took the liberty of not only topping my peanut butter cookies with peanuts to make them look you know really wonderful um totally optional i also took the liberty of taking some of the raw peanuts and putting them around the cookies to bake together in harmony with the cookies in the oven um and we will be baking all of these elements the peanuts and the cookies at 190 degrees celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes until they are a bit firm on the outside and if they're still soft on the inside it's fine they're going to cool down and then harden up as well so you just need to give them 10 minutes to cool and then look how beautiful they are just they're done and trust me your kitchen will be smelling so amazing with the peanut butter and you can smell a little bit of the coconut if you do decide to add coconut like i did if you're allergic then obviously opt this out please by all means and you can also smell like the raw peanuts just doing their thing man um these cookies are so easy to follow they're also easy to make and they're absolutely delicious definitely a winner in the house and i would love for you to try this recipe out if you haven't already and you have no aversion to any of the ingredients that were used in this recipe actually the most important ones um are the peanut butter obviously and also the flour but then again you can always make adjustments if you're allergic to peanuts you can also use almond butter that works really great as well in this recipe and then you can just top your your cookies with almonds if you're interested in using toppings 
um, and if you are allergic to gluten or have some sort of sensitivity to that then just use gluten-free flour they work wonders as well and luckily we have so many of those in store nowadays so the options are limitless you know um, in any case other than that nonetheless thank you for watching i really really hope you enjoyed watching this video it was very simple very easy this is my go-to cookie snack to make when i have a break and i'm too busy to do anything else um because they're so easy to make and also they only take a few ingredients and only have few steps really so thank you for watching and i hope you try this recipe out and thank you again for your support i hope that you like subscribe and comment below tell me what you think as i go and have this with a cup of tea until next time bye bye